Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. Now in this episode I want to have a look at our indoor um, traffic that we have, so in city traffic and as we can see at the example of Sleepy Hollow what we can see quite well is actually that we still using so many outdated vehicles like look at this truck here um, I think it's been out now for it's been driving around for over 40 50 years even I mean just look how it looks I certainly wouldn't want to um, drive with one of these you know so we got lots of these lines these public transportation within cities that just are just totally outdated and we can see it's 60 years actually that we're using this Daimler deck seat car here now um, and yeah of course, those things are not okay anymore. So we're going to change them now, like this one here. It doesn't cost even that much. And of course, with these more modern buses, hopefully um, public transportation within cities takes a bit of hold there. Because at the moment, I think we're making a loss with almost all of them that are within a city. Actually, nope, that's not true. There are some lines that are making some profit. The tram, for example, in Bolton is making a good amount of money. That's actually the tram that goes also to the airport then right so that's going all the way out there to the airport and i think for the trams we don't really have that many new ones nope we are still using the latest one from 1966 so i'm hoping for a more modern version of this um tram then at some point going to make the date advancement there again um to the better version let's also update those cars here that's actually 1.9 million for these buses there right hopefully it's worth it but I'm a bit disappointed with the public transportation in cities. So there are really not that many people. In comparison, for example, with the trains, you know, where lots of people are waiting and using it. For the public transportation within the cities, yeah, it's not that good. Um, what we can see here, that lots of people are using the trams now, though, to get to the airport. I might be thinking a train shuttle here at some point, right? Because we got lots of planes here now traveling around, taking the people... Um, especially the cargo is so profitable it's incredible but for people not that much yet I think that cities are not big enough yet for really lots of these planes you know so we still need more of that so we do have Bolton for example um, and I think it's time for Riverdale to also get an airport to connect it um, Riverdale as we can see is using or well, is quite well connected with the trains right now by the way the trains it's insane this one here Riverdale Yarmouth, that's the one that we just modernized, is now making 14 million. It was like only, it was a slight loss before with the old trains and after we, or after the update with the new trains and especially also with the new tracks, the more, you know, streamlined version now for the high-speed trains. It's incredible how lucrative these trains are now. It's really, really incredible. We are printing money with those high-speed trains. Beautiful. They're also so beautiful to look at, so I have no problem whatsoever building more of them and this is only the first generation of high-speed trains that we have and yeah as we can see it's taking up there now to go for some beautiful speeds there incredible they're also all full of them so we might actually add another one of these yep another tgv then to the lines that we have right -o. i wanted to have another or i wanted to have an airport now first of all let's get rid of this mine here it was ore, iron ore mine that we had because Riverdale as we can see doesn't have anything now for Riverdale we could use the tracks that we have here already and have a train then going to the, the airport right that might be something um where the TGV then stands or well stops as well or we have a special train that just goes to it um then we might have an airport then of course Riverdale is going to be big as well so we might just have a big airport for that as well the only thing that bothers me now is oh actually what we might have since we do have enough platforms i might actually go with one of these platforms goes then to the airport right away instead of going um under ground yes this is better i think having it over here might make more sense in the future because we can then once demand is high enough and we can use trains for it um it makes sense to have an airport here um also noise pollution will not be that um, hard then, you know, for the people. And I think this is looking quite fine, having it out here. Um, Landing-wise, we should be looking from this angle and they can then leave. Oh, no. It doesn't matter really because we can make it ourselves anyway. Mm, or here, where's the mountain? Oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a big climb then that this one has to take. Perhaps like this. This is better. 
Right, there we have a new airport. 20 million only. Not that bad. We still, once again, need some connection with it. And I think we're going with, once again, the medium country road. Um, wait a second. First of all, let's have the road here first. Oh, and we got new trams. Finally, a new tram system and a new bus that we can use then. The trams especially. Um, and let's also make the curves then once again like this. Perfect. There we have the connection to the airport. Um, and for trains, um, I might have later then a little shell train. I love the idea of that. You know, it doesn't need to be connected to high-speed trains. That's the that's paradox. You know, that's not what a high-speed train is about. Um, and in that case, there are uh, six million. It's insane for one charge. You know, in that case. There we got the other train, Nelson Riverdale, where we got these locomotives now with those wagons here. I changed this. Um, also making a nice profit. So I love the passenger trains. It's incredible how lucrative they are. If well connected, of course, that is. It was a lot of work for these high-speed trains um, to work. And of course, the cities need to be big enough. So we are going to reach, I think we're going to reach the first thousand cities soon. Let's just have a look at that real quick. What's the biggest town that we have? Yarmouth with one, 950, right? And then actually comes Rockdale, 885, and Riverdale, and then the rest. The smallest one, is leaked and that is this town here far away on the end we might actually connect it now soon right because they're exploding then quickly this is one that we that de didn't develop at all yet so that might be something now let's still finish this we have that i want to use another shuttle system once again from the station to the airport and yeah we're going with tram i love trams i mean of course I'm probably going to have a loss with this, you know, like these shuttle trams, they're absolutely not lucrative. Like, I'm making a loss of 50,000 a month or something, but that is nothing in comparison to the millions I'm making out of the airplanes. You know, because they're using a smaller ticket, of course, they're paying almost nothing for, um, they're paying almost nothing for the trams, but they're paying a lot for the planes that they're getting on. So this is why this is so lucrative, having a shuttle to the airport. Um, there we have it, and then we just need a tram station here as well. And there we have it, because we already have a tram system in Riverdale, so there's the depot. We really just need to make a line now from this station, and then we can already go all the way to the airport. That's it. And I think we might actually have two trams on this one here, so this is tram um, Riverdale Airport. Right, and then we take the new ones that we have, the LVS 860, 1986, um, can carry up to 27 passengers. This model was developed in St. Petersburg. Oh, it's a Russian tram, then known as Leningrad. It consists of two equally sized sections, each with two electric motors, which can also act as brakes. And there the Russian trams are coming out. Actually, they look quite cute. Beautiful. And thus the shuttle transport to the airport is finished. And all we need now is a connection. So where should these people actually want to travel? To Bolton, to Riverdale, both of them. Um, or Yarmouth. I mean, look how far it's away. It might be lucrative. One to Sleepy Hollow and one to Yarmouth. This might actually work. Let's make two. Let's make two air air well airlines out of this one. The first one, that is Air... Riverdale Sleepy Hollow and then we're going with another one that goes from Riverdale to Yarmouth and this is Air Riverdale Yarmouth in that regard it's in direct competition of course with the high-speed train so I'm hoping I'm not you know destroying anything here but it should be fine because the high-speed trains of course have several stations so it's a different take and the Air is then more direct in that regard. Let's purchase the vehicles. In that case, let's have two 757s, but one for each line only. So this is Riverdale Sleep Hollow, and this is Riverdale Yarmouth. Since we have those bigger planes now, I'd rather use only one or two maximum on these lines, because they can take so much, but they also cost a significant amount of money each month. So it's much better to have only one. Right, it's going to take a bit of time now um, for this to work because, of course, the trams also need to get their passengers on board. There's no one on board right now. 
So this is going to take a bit of time to kick in, but once it kicks in, I hope it's going to be a lot of profit, of course. Um, we might also have a smaller plane going to Bolton, right? Or actually, since it's a long distance anyway, let's make one as well from Riverdale to Bolton. Have I used that many airlines on another airport? No idea. And this is Air Riverdale Bolton. Right, and for that, we're also going to need a plane. <sighs> no idea if I want to use an yet another big one. No idea. We might also just use one of the smaller ones. Should be fine, right? The difference is amazing how much more it costs, you know, this one here. I think it's a bad idea to use it everywhere because it just costs four times more than money per month than what we do otherwise. Air Bolton, Air Riverdale Bolton. There it is. And a new one comes out. Speaking of that, we should have a look at our balances there. We might see a nice surprise. Bolton Sleepy Hollow is not profitable. We are using two of the 737s on this one. Um, let's get rid of one of them. It's just too much otherwise. Right, the Yamaha Sleepy Hollow that we created not long ago. And we might actually switch this one back again to a smaller version of it. We're actually getting some money back. And I think this is the smarter choice to do. So as long as there are not that many people, um, it's a smarter choice to use smaller aircraft as well. Once I see some heavy congestion, we might use then some bigger airplanes as well. Right, there so are actually three lines now going away from here. Um, and Riverdale needs fuel. We are not delivering any fuel to this town yet. And we are actually producing some fuel, I think, in Sleepy Hollow. There it is. Having a smaller airfield or having... Yeah, it's possible. It's possible to have a fuel connection to Sleepy Hollow Airport and then to Riverdale and from there dropping it off. Entirely possible. The only thing that might not work that much here is... That we are not having that much oil here. Right, so what we can see is the truck fuel oil is full. <laughs> so there is enough fuel being brought into Sleepy Hollow for now. Is that a good idea? Or should we have another fuel? Let's have a look. Do we have another fuel production anywhere available? I don't think so. Nope. Is this really the only fuel production that we have on the map? I mean, I know I deleted some other thing. But it looks like there is one. There we have another fuel production. Um, this one needs then refined oil, but there's nothing close by. You know, there is an oil well, but that's it. For fuel, it's not that easy, right? We might actually use planes for that. Because planes would be much easier to handle in this regard. Having a smaller airfield here, just for cargo, a small cargo airfield. Look how small it is might be totally possible to use this just for the refinery. Getting the oil here and then getting it further. Ah, this is advanced though. No idea if I really want to do it now. Alright, so far so good. Another thing that I want to do is those TGVs are so successful and there's so many people waiting for transport. I'm going to get another one on the rails here now. So we do have, let's see, for the trains we have... This one, which is the train for, what is it, Bolton Rockdale we have. This is from Riverdale to Yarmouth, right, on this one. This one definitely needs another TGV. Um, for now, it's the TGVs. I haven't received any other bigger um, high-speed train yet. There are, though, some coming, right? And here we have the train depot for the whole thing that we can use. So there I'm going to use another beauty here, right? Let's purchase it, 58 million. Um, and let's put it there, Riverdale, Yarmouth, on the tracks. And a new TGV comes out. Of course, the major difficulty here now is how to distribute them evenly. Otherwise, we would have a problem there. Let's just check the lines there real quick that we have. That's the Riverdale, Yarmouth. As we can see, um, quite a lot of people. And now we got another one with 144 people on board. The Train Bolton Ripon is actually full. So we might also be thinking another TGV on this one. Train Bolton Ripon. That's actually this one up here. Did not expect this one to explode so quickly. But as it seems as soon as you really have some high speed stuff, people really flood your trains with that. And let's do this so that we have the Ripon. Train Bolton Ripon. Nope, that's not it. 
Or is it? Uh, I need to check it again. Bolton Ripon, indeed. So it's this one, actually. It's not this line up here. So it's the one that goes into the tunnel. Right? Doesn't matter, though. We can still use it, of course. Bolton Ripon. Oh, doesn't have a direct connection. It should have. Oh, no, it hasn't. There is still something missing. So it's coming out here. And it might then be... Hopefully that's possible. Uh, slope is heavy on this one. A uh, curvature, actually. Um, it's coming out and should be then... That's possible. It's sturdy, but it's possible. For now, we only need to get the train out there because I really don't want to pay that much. Bolton Ripon. There it is. Perfect. And a new TGV is coming out. In all its glory and we're getting some new trains there as well. And I was looking forward to something more regional that we can use for our congested regional um, train supply. And we're going to use that right away for this TGV. I hope everything will be fine. I'm going to check on them in a, a couple of minutes then and see how well they're distributed. I don't see any other TGV anywhere here right now. There is one coming in. Okay, so they're a bit close to each other now. And they're full. So there are so many people waiting here. So this one here, we have to pause now. And it's going to wait then here in the tunnel for quite some time. And then it can continue once there is a bit of a difference. Very good. That's that. So then it comes to the regional train. What I can see right away is that this airfield here is actually quite nicely used. As we can see, there are 10 people waiting for the bus. And where is the bus? Should be here somewhere. There is the bus, right? That's the shuttle. Yeah, that's the shuttle. And it's taking the people then to the airport. Ah, there are not that many people though waiting for it. But still, this goes to the airport. And on the airfield, we have 35 people waiting. That is where we have the smaller jet. There it is. And it's full. So we might actually switch the smaller jet to a Boeing. Let's do this. And we're going to use a Lufthansa Boeing because I love them so much. There it is. Oh, I did something wrong now to the angle that it was approaching the airport, I think. It has to switch around. That's that. Bolton is getting really busy. As we can see, there are five airlines now coming together. Oh, what? Could not... Oh, I see. Because it's an airfield, um, we do have the problem that the Boeing 737 cannot land on the airfield. So we should... Uh, that's that's a pity though. I need to get rid of the whole airport again. This is really not well done. Sorry, but I have to say this. I need to get rid of the whole airport now um, and rebuild the bigger one, the passenger one. Right, of course there's no space for it, but I can see that Bentham is exploding as well. So we, yeah, I'm just going with the bigger one right away. Let's get rid of some of the small industry that we're never going to use. There we have the path actually going... Yeah, that should be... Let's get rid of that for now. I'm going to connect the cities then again. This is the street connection here that we have. Right, so there we got the airport now. And then we still need the medium country road that goes now to that road there. Oh. Right for now. So they are connected again. And the line that we have there for the airplane, airline, Bentham. There it is. Oh, it actually automatically took over the new airport. That's fine though. Okay, I'm fine with that. If that's really how it goes. Very good. So the airport can now be used again. And yeah, the people have reset it though. So they're not the same people waiting. Some of them are gone. Some of them will be coming back hopefully. But there is a demand for it. Right, we still now have the problem here with heavily congested um, train stations as well for the regional lines, right? Those regional lines, I did not want to make some high-speed trains there. We have now these trains here in two of them connected to one. And what I'm going to do now for this, for example, here is I'm going to switch it now to the new version of regional trains, at least what I have in mind. Let's just see where it is. There it is, commuter train. 
right? And what we can see, it's kind of like the same. It costs a bit more, um, but it can also carry oh, almost twice as many people to it. That's the one, right? That is very small. This is really able to take that much. Right, let's replace it and just see. There it is. Much, much, much shorter. <laughs> much, much shorter. But, you know, it has two, story, uh, two yeah, stories here. So it can actually have lots of people. Um, and hopefully that's a bit more profitable then. I could even... Squeeze together two of them. Yeah, like this. Would still be excellent. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out with these. I like them. From the look of it. And you can actually see train Lancaster in front of them to where it goes and they're also quite fast that is important and as we can see this one's full already and of course that's the future they need to be that big all right what about the Boeing now that's Alveston Bolton which is also quite profitable there's only one for it though right there's a cargo one. That's the food cargo, and this is quite profitable. Having only one plane will be fine. As we can see, we do have a nice profit at the moment. Though, of course, there's always room for improvements. Let's just check that. Riverdale Yarmouth, not making any money yet. Um, the train Lancaster Molten, we just upgraded. So, of course, oh, yeah. So, of course, it's a bit red there. Um, then we have the Overston Molten, right? This is a line that we can also now activate for the more modern version. That should be fine then, even though, well, who knows. And then we have the Riverdale Bolton, should be fine then as well, we just upgraded that. Construction has always been negative, that is something I absolutely don't understand. Um, we'll have a look at this, oh, and there we got the train construction with a very, very outdated locomotive. So in this case here, look at that, very outdated. I haven't looked at that in quite some time, so let's use the new ones that we have. We got the new diesel locomotives here, they're perfect for these um, cargo transportations because they're not that as, as expensive as, as the electronic versions of them. You know, it costs really almost nothing in comparison, yet can carry a lot of stuff. And this is for construction, this one here. Now look at that, how long it could be theoretically. Yeah, that, that'll be fine for it. Right, and of course with that, hopefully profit comes in then as well. Why is it not wanting to go? It wants to go to this, into this area. Oh, because there's a train still. Also a cargo train. Right, so there's lots of cargo waiting here now. So this is construction five. As we can see, it is in the, harp, uh, in the, in the station right now. Let's also switch this one here to the new diesel that we have and with the construction wagons and yes we can really take that much for it the same with this one this is still electric but it's fine wow they're really getting full there right lots of construction materials this one hasn't oh it's upgraded several times yeah that's good it might even go to the highest level there soon it just needs a bit more stone that's the cool thing oh and look at that how much construction materials we're actually delivering to Hornsea at the moment. Insane. And look at how much there's waiting. These trucks are absolutely not waiting. You know, they are totally busy. Let's add a few more of them. I think three more. Let's make four more. Capacity is 14. Those smaller ones. And this is truck... Hornsey, it's this one. Right, there's so much of that waiting. Where's the ship for it? I haven't checked that in a while. There we got the stone ships, they're quite full. Where's the construction ship? There it is. Right, so 220. Yeah, alright. Can be used. Beautiful. 
So that is really a big surprise to me that this is so successful here, the construction plant at least. Train construction four. Now hopefully with the new locomotives we're going to use that much. I think there it's coming already. That's number two. Number two. There is enough waiting for number two as well. Might actually make it, make it a bit larger there. A bit longer. Definitely enough for it. And I think now with the new locomotives they will be profitable then. Especially also since we got a better system here now running. There's still the electrical one, the old one that we're going to replace now too. Um, modifying though, not replacing. And we're really just getting rid of this one and adding the new one. Right, because this one here is costing the same, but can carry less. This one is faster. For now, that's just better overall. Perfect. So lots of things are happening. Um, and I'm so eager for more high-speed trains, though. I love them. And this is also looking incredible here, right? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>